It's your boy James with the Stop Being Dirty. Stop eating dirty. Trust the process. Protect your peace. It's pretty dope. Somebody had this made for me. Uh, what was it for? I think my birthday back in February, but I seen them like way after they hooked me up with it, which is pretty lit. They need to hook me up with some longer sleeves. That's the thing with these graphic tees, these Target tees. You get them and like you wear them like one time. Like you, people are like, oh, we get it. You work out, bro. I don't want my tees to be this small. I, I don't. Like, I really don't, but it's just like, you you pay, yo, you get, you pay for what you get. And that's a life lesson too. Like, with the effort you put into things, what you get out of them. You do a half-ass job, then you're going to have a half-ass job. You give half-ass effort in your workout, you're going to have half-ass results. Half-ass effort in your relationships, you're going to have a half-ass relationship. So, if you're going to choose to take time and do anything in your life, why not put your best foot forward? Why not... Why don't, why don't you put your best effort and try your best to diet and try your best to do good in your relationship at your job? Because at the end, Miss Hustle! Oh my God. So, congratu congratulations are in order. You know, I, I know a lot of times people say things and it, sometimes it don't, it, don't, it don't fall out that way or turn out the way. But when you have someone of the stature and magnitude of fame and the bag, as the kids say, that Snoop Dogg has. Snoop Dogg, such a Snoop Dogg in the, in the Super Bowl halftime show. That was like the greatest halftime show ever. They trying to kill 50 Cent. I love 50 Cent said Queens all day. Get Richard Dodge has the best hip hop album ever. Maybe not ever we could debate that, but it's definitely, for me, top three best hip hop albums ever. Like, I might just be a Queens head, but I watched it, I could listen to that from front to back, back to front, on shuffle, no matter what. No matter what, I love that album, but you know what I'm saying? But, as far as Miss Hustle goes, you know, Snoop Dogg posted her freestyle, which is super fire on Funk Flex. If y'all ain't hear that, go check that out. And um, basically said, coming soon, Miss Hustle on Death Row Records. As you know, uh, if you don't know, Snoop Dogg is like basically like um, it's the reincarnation Machiavelli of Death Row Records. He's bringing it back. It's coming back. And, um, you know, he's hinting at Miss Hustle being a part of Death Row Records. I mean, it's from someone who, you know, stamped her name and battle rap the way she has and the way that she, um, you know, just puts on, performed and has, you know, basically, you know, solidified her name in this culture and, and gained such a fan base and support system. You know, I just commend her for even, even if it doesn't turn out, just the fact that she's getting noticed by like the higher ups as a Snoop Dogg. Is a is a is an accomplishment in itself. Um, she um has a freestyle out right now. Check her Twitter, her Instagram. Um, you know she's killing that. She shouts out Snoop Dogg and Death Row Records. You know this is something that could really could be happening. So if it does happen for her, you know I salute her and congratulations. You know, and I think we need to take time out to just show some love for shit like that. Especially when I I want to come with her and be on that tour bus in case she needs a little stress relief in between sets. She can just keep me like a gimp in Pulp Fiction in the back of the suitcase. Whenever she's ready for me, I'm there. Miss Hustle, that booty muscle. But um, Calico. So Calico's coming off. Let's not get it twisted. Calico's coming off a classic battle with Hitman Holla. Coming off a dope back and forth, which yes, I had him losing versus Surf, but he wasn't whack. Surf was just on another level. Then I have him being one of the best Calicos ever, ever, versus Chess. And now Calico is out saying that his next opponents will be Charlie Clips and Easy to Block Captain. When these people say who their next opponents are going to be, it happens. It just does. Now, for, if you've been paying attention, I just want to point this out. Well, first of all, you've seen he called Easy out in the surf battle. But if you pay attention to the fact that he definitely been going back and forth. for I don't really hear much from Clips, but I know Calico's been calling out Clips for a few years now. And now Clips is officially outside. I mean, you have... Am I bugging or was that one of the best clips versus Lou Castro? I mean, clips just gave us a lot of great moments, but that battle was just showed his superstar status is ridiculous. So to have a Charlie Clips come off a battle like that and, and Calico coming off of one of the greatest Calicos against Chess, 
putting them together right now while the iron is hot. You know, a lot of times these leagues be slipping and slacking. Right now is when you book this. Both of them coming off phenomenal performances. You put this together now. Now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know... You, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what, what I, however you understand it, Smack. Come on. So, if Charlie Clips and Calico battles, who y'all have winning that battle? Calico was talking very confident. Like, he's basically, he's not just saying he'll beat Clips. Like, he's going to clearly dog walk Clips. Something along that line he tweeted. Follow me on Twitter, by the way. Link in the bio, the Instagram, the Stop Being Dirty merch. Everyone's been supporting the channel, the brand. You know, you don't have to buy a damn thing. Go check out the site. You don't even have to do that. Just hit a like button, subscribe. The, the littlest thing you can do. You know what? If you just want to give me your view and be a stalker, someone watching my page and doesn't subscribe to the channel, you can be that person too. Might as well just go in the bushes and wear binoculars. But... As far as um, Calico and Clips, I think it'll be a dope matchup. They're both from like that back in the day era type feel. And I just think that'll be a dope battle overall. If it does go down, I think it should go down. He's also talking about that he's going to he's gonna battle easy. So you have Calico battling easy to block Captain and Charlie Clips this year, these coming months, whatever the case may be. I like it. I like it. I'm hearing rumors that Easy to Block Captain could be battling Calico and Philly. But then I'm also hearing Easy to Block Captain versus Geechee the Gotti. I mean, while we're at it, salute to Easy to Block Captain. You know what I'm saying? Definitely showing his efforts and that he can stand with the big dogs. He's he's already solidified himself. You know what I mean? You get these, you get these certain battlers that go on these runs, like a T-top run, like a Geechee run, like an easy run, like a Briz run. You know, all these people who have like really like came into like really shot out outside of their classes and really have shined, you know what I mean? So salute to Easy for doing that and um, putting himself where he belongs. Cause you know, you like I was saying before, you get what you put out in life, you know what I mean? Uh, that's energy, that's efforts, that's everything, you know? And he takes the craft seriously and salute to him. You know, I was just talking on Twitter about like, why I feel this channel is appreciated. You know, I, could, I ain't gonna say I could be wrong or right. I, I know a part of this is right. It's all the way right. Just some people might not see it this way, but I, I think my channel is so appreciated because I'm outside and inside in the sense of like, I battle rap and I blog. So like, I know it's been nine months since I battled, but who knows, man, maybe some announcements coming soon. I'm hearing some leagues throwing their biggest cards at the, you know, I've been on the... Come out when I want to. What don't y'all get? Eight years in this shit. Check the resume. But back to what I was saying about the channel. I have an insight that no one will give you. You know, the battler insight, the the, the blogger insight, the both. You know, I know I see a lot of battlers doing this now. And all that. I just remember who the first was. Oh, yeah, clip, clips in this one. No, no. They did blogs promoting their battles. I'm talking about cards, recasts, predictions, and all that. Again, you have other channels that do it in Salute Tune. I'm not going to say no names, but you know I was the first to do it to this magnitude. Y'all copy me! Nah, salute to everybody who's pushing the culture forward. If you get, get your money, get your promotion, get your stardom, I want everybody to win because I'm going to starve every time I'm looking at your plate. I'm worried about my plate, what my meal, my dinner. You feel me? That's all I'm worried about. I don't think about the next man's channel, what the next man's doing. I'm focusing on me. But what I'm saying is... um. I was saying back to what I was, because I lost my thought for a second, just uh, give myself, you know, you got to show yourself some love sometimes. I don't really big myself up that much on my channel. Why not? It's my fucking channel. A lot of people spend every blog doing that. I never do it. You know, I'm proud of what I've done. You know, I could do better. I'm going to do better. I could do more. And I'm going to do more. But right now, I'm pretty happy. You know, salute to me. Shit, why not? Salute you. So if you're watching right now, salute to you. Salute to yourself. Take a second to look in the mirror. Salute yourself. What you do in your life. The food you put on the table. The efforts you put in your life. Salute to you. Maybe you don't have someone out there giving you, you know, a, a, you know, a salute. Well, Jim's is giving you one. Salute to you. Um, As far as easy goes, what I was saying, you know, fans and supporters don't really understand how much stress it really is to put together three rounds, write these three rounds, look up your opponent, think about, oh, is this good enough to you? Should I use this flow, this punchline? Has has this been said before? Do I have to watch their battles? Is someone gonna say, someone else said it? They're gonna believe that I didn't watch their battles. I gotta watch all their battles. Yo, there's so much that go into this shit, and then you have to memorize it. Then you have to perform it. 
So salute to all the battlers. I just want to take a second to like just 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 give y'all the like the insight of how tough it really is, how much effort it takes. I know you be like, oh, a lot of people could do it, you know, every other this and that. You know, these are rare people, Charlie Clipses and DNAs who could just ride on a plane. Like, look at Danny Myers, not to use them in a negative light, but you can see what happens when you battle too much, even though you're that great. Because Danny's amazing, but look what happens, how hard it is to actually do that in short periods of time. So short periods, long periods, it, it, it's tough to do. You know what I'm saying? Salute to all the battlers, I guess what I was getting to. So, but what, let me ask you, what do, who do you have winning between Calico and Charlie Clips? Who do you have winning between Calico and Easy to Block Captain? Charlie Clips is unbeatable when he wants to be. I really see Clips that way. This is someone who wants to battle Clips. Like, I'm going to end up calling Clips out and saying, I know I'm not going to win. Y'all can hold me to this, what I'm saying right now. It's going to be in one of my balls. I'm going to be like, I want to battle Clips. Though I won't win, I'm going to I'm gonna try my best. I'm going to try my best. But if he wants to win, he's going to against anyone. I think he's that good. Salute to him. As far as, don't mean they can't have a classic, though, because Calico's super fire, too. As far as easy goes, you know, you put easy in the same category as chess. And going into the battle with Calico, you're going to have so many people thinking it was like 90 to 10, 80 to 20 saying chess is going to be Calico. Look how that turned out. Even though chess was like, you know, just throwing up tums all over the place during the first round. Calico still, I preferred Calico's second round. I understand that that round go either way. Calico got the third against a clean chess. You understand what I'm saying? And then, and then you have the what if first round. I think Calico's first round was great. Don't, you can't sleep on the vets. You know what I'm saying? So as far as that battle goes, uh, that's a great matchup. I love to see it. But what do y'all think? Write in the comments. Calico versus Clips, who wins? Calico versus Easy, who wins? Miss Hustle getting signed possibly to Death Row Records soon. Salute to her. Salute to you watching. Take time, relax, and slow down and understand you're doing a good job. Keep it up. Trust the process. Protect your peace. Stop being dirty.